What are botflies in dogs? Cuterebra is a type of botfly in dogs that lays eggs on the skin and fur of dogs and larvae burrow into the skin, feeding off tissue fluids before rupturing from the host animal. This can cause an inflamed lump underneath the dog's skin, which can be alarming for owners. To learn more about how Cuterebra affects dogs, watch the video without skipping. What is a botfly, Cuterebra, in dogs? Cuterebriasis, warbles, is an infestation of mammals by botfly Cuterebra larvae and these larvae are normal parasites of rodents and rabbits. Cuterebra is a species of botfly that lives throughout North America. How are dogs infected with Cuterebra? Adult botflies lay eggs at the entrance of rodent and rabbit burrows during the summer months. Larvae attach themselves to the animal's coat and enter through any opening. After three to four weeks, the larva forms a visible nodule with an external breathing hole. Dogs may become infected by coming into contact with botfly larva that is present in rabbit or rodent burrows. The larva can enter through the oral cavity, nose, wounds, or any other opening. Causes of botflies in dogs Cuterebra is caused by an infestation of larvae from the Cuterebra group of botflies. There are 34 species of Cuterebra in North America. Botflies lay eggs on blades of grass or in nests, where they hatch. Dogs become infected with a botfly larva when they come into contact with a blade of grass that has a maggot on it. The dog's movement against the blade of grass stimulates the maggot to crawl onto the dog or passing host. The small maggots crawl around until they find an orifice where they can enter, mouth, ear, nose, etc. Then, then, they migrate through various internal tissues and, ultimately, make their way into the skin. They establish themselves within a warble, a small lump in the skin. The mature maggots, which may be an inch long, then drop out of the host and form a pupa in the soil. Eventually, an adult botfly will emerge from the pupa and start the whole cycle again. Symptoms to watch for if you suspect your dog has cuterebra the pa of larval migration determines whether abnormalities are found in dogs suffering from cuterobriasis. Migration beneath the skin is quite typical, resulting in a warble and perhaps a secondary bacterial infection. A small lump underneath the skin with an opening, breathing hole, may be noted. Botfly warbles are most commonly found on the head and necks of dogs. Larvae may also be visible through the breathing hole. If the botfly larva invades the nose and respiratory system, an infected dog will have sneezing, nasal discharge and coughing as typical symptoms. Dog breeds that are prone to cuterebra. Any breed of dog can become infested by cuterebra. However, one study showed that 80% of affected dogs weighed less than 10 pounds, and 40% of affected dogs were Yorkshire Terriers, likely due to size and popularity of the breed. Recovery and management of cuterebra in in dogs after botfly removal, monitor the area for discharge, swelling, or delayed healing. Cases of eye/slash brain infestation can take weeks to months to completely resolve. Some dogs with cases of cuterebra eye infestation do well after removal of the larva and getting anti-inflammatories, but others may develop blindness or glaucoma. Cuterebra skin infestations can result in systemic inflammatory response syndrome, SIRS, or DIC, but this is not common. What treatments are available for dogs suffering from cuterebra? The main treatment for cuterebra larvae is to remove them surgically. In cases where the larvae are not accessible, antiparasitic medications such as ivermectin can be prescribed. Diphenhydramine should be administered prior and during these treatments to prevent an allergic reaction to the dying larva. Tips for preventing botfly larvae infestations in your dog. Keeping your dogs away from rabbit and rodent burrows is the best prevention. If you live in an area where botflies are common, inspect your dog's coat regularly for any lumps or swelling. If you find a lump, have your veterinarian take a look to determine if it is a warble caused by cuterebra. Hope you and your dog are safe. Take care of your dog and stay healthy. Please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel.